Hi everyone, I've been sick the last week or so and I still have a bit of a cough so I hope I can get through this stream without totally choking up, but I'll give it a try. Um, I'm doing some more knitting today and I like to, this time of year, I like to knit myself a hat or something because the weather is getting cold and I usually use my hand spun but I have this Noro, a couple of books of, about Noro yarns and, and I have a really lovely ball of wool. It's called the, the Ito brand of, of Noro and I love all the colors. So I thought, well, I'll use this rather than making my own this time. And there's, um, instead of making a hat, there is uh, a lovely pattern in here for making a cowl. And I thought I would make this cowl, but just in plain knit rather than the pattern in it because this uses two different colors. And I think this yarn has enough colors in it. So I'm just going to start this. It, you cast on with them. Uh, it takes about two balls of 50 gram skeins of the Noro yarn, about 100 meters. And you cast on 112 stitches. I'm just going to start working on this. And um, I'll list links to it in my website and the pattern that you can buy it at and, and more information about it if you want to move along. Um, so, I'll cut this label off. Hmm. There we go. So I use a Finnish style of, of casting on and, and a continental style of knitting. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but I'll just show you how I do it. So I to cast on 120 yards, it's going to 120 stitches, it's going to be quite a bit of yarn. So I, I wrap it around my thumb and my forefinger like this. And then I make two loops, two cast ons to start with. And I pull that like that. And then I'm going to wrap it or make a loop with my thumb and then pull the yarn through to cast on. And always make sure that the part that gets looped on, that forms the loop, is the, is the longer length of yarn. And that looks like it's wrong. This is the longer. Because in case you, so you don't run out of wool. If you use the shorter end, you might run out of wool in this length that you've got here. And I cast on with two needles because when I pull it off, then the, then the first row of knitting isn't too tight to be able to knit with. Um, as a little trick that my mother taught me years ago is to always cast on with two needles and pull one out. Otherwise you struggle with um, with the yarn getting too tight. Oops. Oh, I just realized that I don't have a chat window set up. I must have done something wrong in the setup. So I'm going to stop this stream and come back in a little bit in case there is actually somebody there who wants to say something. Hold on and I'll be back. Okay, hi everybody. Sorry about that problem. I think I have the chat loaded up now on the screen. And as I was saying, I was working from this book from uh, Noral Knitting Yarns 30th Anniversary Collection, and I'm going to be making a, um, a cowl. Usually I make, uh, I like to knit myself a hat at this time of year because it's going to be some cold weather coming, but I thought a cowl might be nicer because I can use it as a scarf and I can pull it over my head on those windy days. 
So this one uses um, uh, 250 gram skeins of the Noro Crayon yarn. And I have got a great big ball of it, which has about 200 grams. So there should be plenty for making the scarf. Often I, I use my own hand spun, but because I happen to have this yarn and I really like the colors, I thought I would just use the Noro instead. Um, so I would have to cast on 112 stitches. I use a finished type of cast on that my mom taught me. I don't know how how uh, how popular it is for people. And my mom always used two needles for casting on because it gave her a little extra um, uh, extra width in the, in the cast on because it usually ends up being too tight and you have trouble continuing with your knitting. So if you use two needles and then pull one out and then start to knit, you get them. It's much easier to do the first row of knitting. So <clears throat> across the yarn over my finger and my thumb and I pull the yarn through just by pick knitting. And uh, the trick is to the, the yarn that goes over the yarn over that forms a stitch has to be the, the part that's coming from the balls so that you don't run out of wool uh, part way through. So I'm just going to knit here until I've got 112 stitches. One hundred, and it's asking for um, one hundred and twelve. All right, it says to do uh, knit two, purl two around, but for the first row, I always like to knit just a row of knits and then do the knit purls. So I'll start doing that. <coughs> Oh, it's in the round. What am I doing? Can I take that back? Oi, oi, oi. Take that back and do this right. <clears throat> I just thought it been a horrible mistake. So I'll pull this over here. Make sure I have all this going around properly so I don't end up with Mobius or whatever. And it's up. I think that's right. Yeah, that wouldn't be too good to do that. Especially live and everybody sees me make a stupid mistake. Oh, it would be embarrassing. Okay, try this again.
I like to do crafts with some music on usually, so I'm going to sign up for Pretzel, I think, and do streaming music while I'm playing with this, uh, while I'm streaming, because uh, it gets very, I like to have music and it's too quiet when I'm working on my own. So hopefully by next time I'll get that part of this thing figured out. Okay, one, two knit, two purl. To do the purl, I come from behind the yarn over my finger, from the back of the knit stitch, and I pull that around and pull it back through. So I'm kind of reversing the stitch, doing it in reverse from what I normally do. Knit, knit, purl, purl. Pull from the front, pull from the front, go pull from the back, loop it around and pull it back through. From the back, and pull it through. Knit, knit. Moves.
Uh oh, I just broke off. Oh no. These needles are great, except they unwind. <sighs> they do come undone. I think. Okay. Oh, the wool got jammed in there. I'll bother. Oh, dear. The perils of these needles. Ay, ay, ay. Well, sitting here knitting by myself and talking to people who may never hear me is really kind of a weird experience, but oh well. And perhaps somebody will listen in. I don't know, what have I just done? Pearl knit? Pearl. Pearl. Oh. Looks like I missed a stitch. Pearl, pearl, knit, knit. This pearl. Okay, I'll add a stitch here. Just a stitch, just make one more. Knit, knit, pearl, pearl, knit, knit.
Okay, that's it for now. I'm definitely going to go and try and find some music for the stream because I'm sitting here in silence and I don't like that. I will be back later. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Um, not sure. I have some other things to do as well. But thanks for listening if you do happen to stop in and, and uh, watch this broadcast. <laughs>